Big South Championship game, Hampton versus Winthrop. Winter gets the ship and a trip to the big dance. And let me tell you, Winthrop was really out there rocking the hill, as they like to say. Do not sleep on this Winthrop atmosphere, because it was no cap wild up in there for the championship game. Jermaine Morrow and Ben Stanley looking to win their third straight road game in the conference tourney and sail that pirate ship right up in the NCAA tournament. And it was looking good early for HU. Morrow finds Stanley in the paint for the bucket off the pick and roll. Then it's main Morrow pump faking folk up out of their sneakers for the nice lay. Pirates with some deep. They get the strip on the drive to the basket. Morrow bringing it up the court to pull it up, knock it down three, and Winthrop calls timeout down 22-7 midway through the first half. More Morrow, the baseline lay. You can go ahead and count that. Here he gets fouled on the take and let me know he was ready for all the smoke out there this afternoon. Ben Stanley with another one of his patented spin move floaters in the lane. Pirates up nine, but here comes Winthrop. Hunter Hale with the nice leg. Russell Jones Jr. splashes a three. Then Chandler Vaudrum gets a bucket and Hampton's lead is down to two. Greg Hextall stops the bleeding with a three late in the half and the Pirates go into the break up five, 33-28. Ben Stanley comes out the break with his hard hat on. He gets right to work with two big buckets in the paint. Then he gets the monster jam and Hampton is up seven. But not for long, cause Winthrop done went on another run. Hunter Hale with another jazzy finish with the left. Charles Falden drains one from beyond the yard. Then it's DJ Burns Jr. getting his own tip in and Winthrop finds themselves up nine with seven and a half left in the game. Coach Joyner letting his guys know they still got time to get back in it during the timeout and Jermaine Morrow puts those words into immediate action. He gets the strong drive to the hoop, the bucket, plus the foul and Hampton's trying to claw their way back in this thing. DeAndre Griffin's grown man trip to the rack cuts the pirate deficit to five. But Winthrop was able to make some stops. They hit all their big shots down the stretch, fed off the energy of their crowd, and took home the Big South title, earning themselves a trip to the big dance with the 76-68 win over Hampton. And while the pandemonium from Winthrop and their fans was offset by the heartbreak on the Hampton sideline, Coach Buck Joyner and Jermaine Morrow are forever bonded by a connection that's bigger than basketball and deeper than anything that shows up in the box score. I mean, I'm a kid from New downtown Newport News. But, I mean, it's a, it's a rough spot. And, I mean, this man to the right of me gave me an opportunity that, that took that too many people didn't want to give me. And he, he, he believed in me from day one. And, I mean, this, this school believed in me from day one. And I, and I love them for that forever. Um, he, he, he's probably as, as, as close to me as my sons. I mean, we, we've had that relationship together. I mean, he, I remember when we had the conversation and, and, and he decided that this is where he wanted to be and he wanted to play for me. Uh, First place I went in the city, I was told by a, a, a gentleman that he wouldn't make it past his sophomore year. Uh, you know, he didn't need to stay home. Uh, he didn't, and, you know, I, I took that personal. You know, and I, 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 put, I put everything in, <laughs> everything in me to help make sure this young man survived and, and make it out, you know. And at the end of the day, at this point next year, you know, he's going to have an opportunity to play basketball. He's going to have the, the young man's 20 hours from graduate or less. 
uh, he's going to have an opportunity to play basketball and do something for himself, his family, his son that he just had. And the hell with everything else. That's what I promised him. I probably owe him more than he owes me. You know, um, and, and a lot of people don't understand, you know, the pressure that's on his back and, and all of our backs because, you know, leaving the MEAC, that was a great conference. And, you know, I'm HBCU born and bred. You know, I, I went to Johnson C. Smith University. I got my first degree from there. I, I love Hampton enough that I got my graduate degree from there. Uh, the pressure that, that we were under that last year there and then the pressure that we moved into trying to get to this point here. At the end of the day, you know, I'm proud of the product that he's become. I'm proud that I was able to, to, to give him an opportunity to do the things that he's done. You, you, you say one of the most decorated careers at Hampton University. I don't know that you've read the stats. He's one of the most decorated players in college basketball, and I can run him off to you. And I was here with him to help give that opportunity, and it was a blessing. As Ben, as ben says, to God be the glory, you know, for that. And I'm so happy for him that when some people say, you know, what's next and what he going, what, what is he going to do next? You know, I, I was there to help him make sure that he, he can provide a life for himself, his son, and his family after this. And he's going to do that. I've been in the gym getting my level up. Fenders getting gas, so I mash on the pedal, what? The backboard, I crash, slam the rock to a pebble, what? The breeze from the past will assist your irregular. Breathing handle got your ankle in your knee in a disagreement. Now your balance taking off of bereavement. They want to know what I'll be cooking up, because then they think we be even. But I know, look, this shit, so I never seen it now. Jim getting my level, what? Fenders getting gas, so I mash on the pedal, what? The backboard, I crash, slam the rock to a pebble, what? My team is the strongest and we crush the competitors. Uh.